Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Fork Loader Low Poly. Now, although this says low poly, I don't think I actually consider it quite as low poly as, for example, some of the other asset packages that you will find on the Asset Store. I actually quite like the detail of this. The quality overall is rather nice, and I do appreciate how much effort has gone into actually creating this asset. So overall, it does look rather nice, and it is free as well, which also is a bonus. 68 megabytes, so it's not too bad for its size. Just be mindful uh, if you've got a large project or you're on slow connection, anything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's free, and that's good. And there are loads of other forklift trucks in the asset store. Uh, obviously, some are paid, some are free. But if I'm honest, to me, th this would do the job. If you were creating, I don't know, something like a Shenmue Racing uh, game, you know, the forklift trucks in that, then this would be absolutely perfect. Um, it is all kind of separate as well, so you could create an animation to raise and lower the fork, which is all good. You can also do the wheels, so if you wanted to actually make them turn, then you could easily do what you needed to do there. And then obviously the whole thing, um, the actual body of the forklift uh, moves as well. Obviously, a forklift truck doing that is absolutely insane. But either way, yes, every piece is separate, so you can actually create the animation for it. Quantity-wise, you would just expect the forklift truck, but you get a little bit of uh, extra as well. You get this whole road section as well to display it on, which is kind of nice, I guess, because it doesn't give that impression in the asset store images. So I guess that could count as extras, but in the way of quantity, you get what you see. That's all there is, and to be honest, if you're only looking for forklift truck, that's all you need. That's really good. Pre-made scene, as always, I do like them. Um, extras, like I said, is this little road here, and I guess that road could be useful to some degree, I guess. It depends if you want to be, you know, useful with it or not, but you can stretch it quite a way, I guess. I don't know. Is it an extra? Yeah, I'll count as an extra. Why not? So its usefulness is fairly decent. If you're making some kind of racing game, just want a little bit of fun with it, like say a forklift truck. If you're creating some kind of game where you, I don't know, you work at a dock and you lift crates or something like that, this is going to be perfect. Even if you only want to use it as just a background uh, asset, then that's pretty good as well. So overall, yes, I do like this. Considering it's free, I think it's really well designed. And you can probably see already why I don't specifically consider it low poly because it's not quite as low poly as some other assets that you see. Uh, versatility, how customizable is it? Well, let's just take a look. You could take that asset package, go to the material itself and just play around with it, I guess, if you wanted to. There's no said way of doing things. You could always just play around with it. Uh, what else can we do? Let's set that and just change the alpha, whatever else, color, take that away, mess around with it, see what you get. There's loads of different things that you can do with it. Let's take the, uh, let's take this for example, the fork, if you didn't want a fork, you could just disable it and have it without. Uh, now I do particularly like all of this. I, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's a really, really nice uh, touch, to just the whole thing with it, to just the whole kind of, everything you see with it. You can play around. So we've just turned the indicator off there. Let's play around with this and let's change that to, I don't know, let's change it to blue. See, so you could do that with it if you want to just go crazy. So that is why I like this asset. And as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And yeah, I'd recommend this. If you've got anything at all that could possibly involve a forklift truck, then yes, I would recommend this. It's a really good asset to have. It's really well designed. And you could even implement forklift truck racing if you wanted to. So guys, have you used this asset? If you have, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, if you've got an asset in the asset store yourself, whether it's free or paid, let me know as well because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything about video game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.